Welcome to another video by, I buy diabetic supply. This video will go over everything you need to know about Tejeo insulin inhaler. 1. Introduction to Tejeo insulin. What it is, how it works, and who it is intended for. Tejeo insulin is a long-acting insulin that is used to help control blood sugar levels in people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It contains the active ingredient insulin glargine, which is designed to be slowly released into the bloodstream over a period of 24 hours. This helps to maintain a consistent level of insulin in the body and can help to reduce the risk of high or low blood sugar levels. Tejeo insulin is intended for people with diabetes who require insulin to manage their blood sugar levels. It is typically used in combination with a healthy diet and exercise regimen, as well as other medications or insulin therapies as directed by a healthcare provider. Two dosage and administration of Tejeo insulin, how to properly inject the insulin and the recommended dosage. The dosage and administration of Tejeo insulin will vary depending on a person's individual needs and medical history. The medication is typically administered subcutaneously, under the skin, once a day, at the same time each day. The healthcare provider will determine the appropriate dose based on a person's blood sugar levels and other factors. Tejeo insulin is available in pre-filled pens or cartridges, and should be injected into the fatty tissue just under the skin of the abdomen, thigh, or upper arm. The injection site should be rotated each time to help prevent irritation or infection. It is important to follow the healthcare provider's instructions for administering Tejeo insulin and to monitor blood sugar levels regularly. If a dose is missed or skipped, the healthcare provider should be consulted for guidance on how to adjust the dosage. 3. The benefits of using Tejeo insulin, how it can help to control blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of complications associated with diabetes. Tejeo insulin can be an effective tool for managing blood sugar levels in people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. The medication is a long-acting insulin that is designed to be slowly released into the bloodstream over a period of 24 hours helping to maintain a consistent level of insulin in the body. This can help to reduce the risk of high or low blood sugar levels and may help to prevent complications associated with diabetes, such as nerve damage, kidney damage, or vision problems. Tejeo insulin has been shown to be effective in reducing A1C levels in clinical trials, and it is generally well tolerated by most people. A1C is a measure of average blood sugar levels over time. The medication may also be associated with fewer episodes of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, compared to other insulin therapies. Four potential side effects and risks associated with using Tejeo insulin how to recognize them and what to do if they occur. As with any medication, Tejeo insulin may cause side effects in some people. Common side effects may include injection site reactions, such as redness, itching, or swelling, weight gain, or hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. In rare cases, Tejeo insulin may cause severe allergic reactions, such as swelling, difficulty breathing, or rash. It is important to be aware of the potential side effects of Tejeo insulin and to seek medical attention if they occur. Hypoglycemia can be particularly dangerous, and symptoms may include sweating, shaking, dizziness, confusion, or loss of consciousness. If hypoglycemia occurs, it can usually be treated by consuming a source of sugar, such as glucose tablets or juice. 
In addition, it is important to monitor blood sugar levels regularly and to follow the healthcare provider's instructions for administering Tegeo insulin. Any changes in dosage or treatment regimen should be discussed with the healthcare provider to help minimize the risk of complications or side effects. Five storage and handling of Tegeo insulin. How to properly store and handle the medication to ensure its effectiveness and safety. Tegeo insulin should be stored in the refrigerator until it is ready to be used. However, it should not be frozen, and it should not be exposed to direct sunlight or high temperatures. Once a Tegeo insulin pen or cartridge has been opened, it can be stored at room temperature, below 86 degrees Fahrenheit, for up to 28 days. Before using Tegeo insulin, it should be inspected visually to ensure that it appears clear and colorless, and that there are no visible particles or clumps. If the insulin appears cloudy or discolored, it should not be used. Tegeo insulin pens or cartridges should be discarded after 28 days, even if there is insulin remaining. Unused insulin should not be saved or reused, as it may no longer be effective or may be contaminated. Proper storage and handling of Tegeo insulin is important to ensure its effectiveness and safety. Failure to store the medication properly may result in reduced effectiveness or even harm to the user. It is important to follow the healthcare provider's instructions for proper storage and handling of Tegeo insulin. 6 Tips for Managing Diabetes While Using Tegeo Insulin, Including Maintaining a Healthy Diet, Monitoring Blood Sugar Levels, and Engaging in Regular Exercise. In addition to using Tegeo insulin as prescribed by a healthcare provider, there are several tips for managing diabetes that can help to optimize blood sugar control and reduce the risk of complications. These include A. Maintaining a healthy diet. Eating a balanced diet that is rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins can help to control blood sugar levels and maintain a healthy weight. B. Monitoring blood sugar levels. Regularly monitoring blood sugar levels can help to identify trends and patterns in glucose control, which can guide treatment decisions and help to prevent complications. C. Engaging in regular exercise. Exercise can help to improve insulin sensitivity and and promote weight loss, both of which can improve blood sugar control. However, it is important to consult with a healthcare provider before starting a new exercise program. D. Managing stress. Stress can cause blood sugar levels to rise, so it is important to find healthy ways to manage stress, such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises. E. Avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can both worsen diabetes control and increase the risk of complications. Thanks for watching. I buy diabetic supply.com.